Hello guys! Welcome back to Life's Best with Journey! It's middle of May and I am excited to start planting flowers in the garden. We bought different types of summer flowers, some hanging flowers and some are standing ones. Summer or annual flowers are actually flowers that germinate, flower, set seed and die all in one season. I have chosen flowers which I know it's easy to maintain and blooms most of the time like petunias and geraniums. And we also bought few sacks of flower soil. And so let's start planting the flowers. We are going to plant the hanging flowers. Flowers. So we have this pot. And then we have this soil. You know that also these have also like extra dirt. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to put together yellow petunia, the red, and the violet. Hmm? Squeeze mm -hmm. it. Not so hard. Not so, not so hard. Okay, now. Exactly. But they said you have to put water first. Because of our wish to have less work in the garden, we have made a big change last year to turn our garden to be a potted garden. We have flowers only in pots, although I have one climbing rose in one side of the garden, and that's it.
These are actually hanging geraniums. I love this kind of flowers because they are very easy to maintain and also they bloom all the time. One is called uh, Royal Candy Orange and the other one is Edel Geranian. I'm not sure with the English name. The direct translation would be Noble Geraniums. We have daisies in different colors. Since this is on a high pot, I combined it with petunia, so it will look nice with the hanging flowers as well. And here is the dark pink and we also have the white. And here are the fuchsia in two different colors. I really love these flowers, the colors, the shapes, and uh, by the way, they love shades. So this is perfect to put in spots or corners where there are no direct sunlight. This is another pot. These blue flowers, I'm not really sure what its name. It looks like they are on the daisies family, but I just love its color blue and yellow. And these are the lantanas. They also come in different colors and they like either full sun or partial sun. In this pot, I have combined three different flowers, one standing and two hanging plants.
In this part, again, I combine three different flowers. I am not a gardening expert or flower expert, but I just combined uh, flowers because of their colors. And I always see to it that there is a standing flower and hanging flowers. So when they bloom, they would look nice in a pot. I am actually amused with the name of these flowers, Poor Man's Orchid, or in German, Bauer or Schitte, but I am yet to find out why. In this plant box, we have combined petunia, mini petunia, with the summer jasmine. They make a very good color combination, red and white. We just planted them and I'm so excited to see them in the summer, how they grow and bloom. I would be making another video um, in the summer to show you uh, how they look like in full blooms. I'm still thinking though of buying more summer flowers but uh, I will show you if I would have more additional ones. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video and I look forward to show you more of gardening videos. Hi guys, welcome back to Life's Best with Journey. This time I will show you some perennial plants or flowers. These plants live more than two years and they remain in the ground year after year. So come join me to my mother-in-law's garden. We will see what she has. Her garden is actually just next to mine. It's already end of May, but we still have cold temperature and it rained a lot. So some of the flowers are not yet in bloom, but soon I guess. Here we have the azalea in two different colors. They usually bloom in spring, that's May and June. Their flowers often last several weeks. What I love with these flowers are their vibrant colors. So beautiful. And here is also another perennial flower, it's rhododendron and it comes in different colors. We used to have violets but in the front garden and last year we had to get rid of it. So this also comes every year during springtime.
Here is a peony or Pfingst rosen, we call it in German. It's going to bloom soon. And I'm so excited to see them in full bloom. It's really, really beautiful. This is a dark red clematis also. This part of the garden is actually a rock garden, a stein garden as we call it in German. And this is covered with different plants, different flowers. During the winter, it's, this stays green. And when spring starts, these flowers would start blooming at different times. There would be a time when all these area is covered with flowers in different colors and they look so beautiful i will definitely make a video when that happens i promise
and this cute little dwarf is still in winter mood hibernating so cute These ones here are called Dalmatina Glockenblume in German or bell flowers. They normally bloom from June until August. I love when they are in full bloom because it looks like a carpet uh, laid on this rock garden. And the king frog and the owl are hiding and these red flowers they are actually carnations in between. On the other side of the garden, this is actually yellow roses, which are soon going to bloom. As we can see, there are plenty of rose buds already. Soon they're going to bloom and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see this wall full of roses in full bloom. Very colorful and very attractive. And now going back to my garden, this is the only plant I have on the ground. This is a vine rose in pink. I have this for two years already and I'm so glad that they're back again this year. Hopefully they will bloom more than last year.
I got this bougainvillea last year. It was full of flowers. During the winter, I put it under the roof and slowly the leaves were gone. Come April, we had really warm uh, days, so I put it out. But again, there were like so cold nights and this bougainvillea was staying outside. So I have fear that this cannot recover anymore, but I could see there are some new leaves coming out. Hopefully they will come out soon and this bougainvillea will recover. Lastly is my hydrangea in pink. I could see it's going to bloom soon. Although I, the leaves are not looking that healthy, maybe because of our cold temperature, but looking forward that they're going to recover and bloom nicely. Guys, here ends our spring garden tour. I promise I'm gonna make another video in June and one in July and maybe one in August to show you all these flowers when they are in full bloom. Thank you for watching. Until my next video. Hello everyone, welcome to Life's Best with Journey. We are going to see some evergreen plants in our garden. We are planting this Gold Rider Cypress. This is a fast-growing conifer which has bright leaves that hold their color all year round there is no pruning required for this but this can be trimmed and shaped if desired each year in may to july the suggested soil types for these plants are well-drained chalk clay loam and sand this can also be exposed to full sunlight or partial shade so this location is just perfect for them when we buy these plants from the garden center here they normally come with a brief guide it shows if they need full sun or partial shade, how much water they need, also their temperature tolerance, which is very important in deciding which plant to buy and how to take care of them.
actually we have decided to have these evergreens in our front yard mainly for the reason that they require very little maintenance and can be left to grow on their own we water them once a week during hot season and once in two weeks in cold season because i don't have much time to spend working in the garden these plants are just perfect for us we started this last year and now we bought some additional plants This one here is called Japanese Cypress or Hinoki Cypress. This is in dwarf form with shell-shaped twisted branches with dark green needles. They require sunny to shady location and well-drained, not too dry soil. This plant in the middle is called Dwarf Golden Oriental Tuja, or Tuya, we say it in German. It is a bushy evergreen dwarf conifer plant which creates a bright golden look. This conifer has scaly needles in beautiful golden yellow. At the end of the year, it is the golden yellow winter coloration that sets this plant apart. This could develop into a conical upright and slender tree and reaches up to 2.5 meter in height and 1.5 meter in width. This one here is my favorite. It's called Castle Wayland Gold or Leyland Cypress trimmed in a spiral form. This belongs also to the conifer family. This requires also a very little maintenance and even grow in poor soil. This can be trimmed and maintained in different ways. We could either prune them regularly to achieve a neat clean form or let them bush out a little to create a more natural appearance. We planted them actually last year and we trimmed a little bit towards the fall season and I think we will do this again uh, this year. Here we have a Mediterranean Cypress or Tuscany Cypress. I chose this plant for this part of the garden because the space is narrow. I want something slender and tall. And they stand perfect at the moment in this corner of the garden. This plant has dark green scale-like leaves, scaly bark, often with columnar narrowly avoid grounds, and they are often aromatic. Here is a white cedar. In German, it's called Gold Gelber Kugelebensbaum Miriam. The most characteristic feature of this plant is its striking yellow foliage in summer. 
In winter, they turn to orange and bronze green. This is a beautiful sphere of about 2 feet or 60 centimeter and is fully hardy. I actually choose this plant for this location to give a contrast to the tall and slender Mediterranean cypress. This one here in the corner is called Chinese Windmill Palm or Chinesische Hanf Palme in German. This is the classic among the outdoor palms. Due to its fast growth and uncomplicated cultivation, this is particularly well suited for beginners among palm lovers like me. According to the information uh, attached, it has extensive frost tolerance of up to minus 18 degrees Celsius. So we will see if it survives during the winter. This spot here doesn't get any sunlight at all, so we decided to just put these evergreens. This one, I actually don't know the name how it's cold but it's really nice and i think we have seen all the evergreens in our garden i hope guys you enjoyed watching my video if you have uh, ideas questions you can just write in the comment section below as always thank you guys for watching until my next video, bye!